Hello, readers and writers, and welcome to lesson 37 of your ELA School Away From School. I'm Mr. Marks, and I will be your virtual teacher for today's daily lesson. Let's start by remembering those guiding questions. How do human actions affect the natural world? How do authors approach providing information and making an argument? And how does reading for research help me to form an opinion and make an argument? As always, we will be trying to address these questions through today's work. All right, for today's lesson, you will need a copy of the text, Switching Toilet Paper Brands Could Help Canadian Forests and the Earth, your copy of Lesson 37, the Lesson 37 quiz, and a pencil. Go ahead and pause the video here to make sure that you have everything. All right, we have one learning target for today. I can use the text to answer questions. Let's make sure that we keep this target in mind during our lesson today. First, you will be rereading Switching Toilet Paper Brands Could Help Canadian Forests and the Earth with a family member, caregiver, or friend. As you read along, listen to the read aloud from Lesson 34. Pause the video here while you read. Okay, time to think. Remember all the work that you have done this week. You have paraphrased the article into your own words. You supported your analysis of the text with evidence and you defined unknown vocabulary words using their prefix or suffix. Now you will have a discussion with your family member, caregiver, or friend. What main ideas and key details did you include in your paraphrase? What evidence did you use to support your analysis of the text? And what words did you define using their prefix or suffix? Go ahead and pause the video here while you discuss. All right. Now you will use the article to answer questions on the Lesson 37 quiz. Pause the video here while you complete this work. All right, great job today. Share your quiz with someone and tell why you selected your answers. Also, remember to read a book today with a family member, caregiver, or friend for 20 minutes. For today's fluency practice, use a timer, a cell phone timer, kitchen timer, or have someone count to 60 and read the passage for one minute. Count the words you read and write the number at the top of your text. Look at how many more words you read in one minute. Celebrate your reading fluency with a parent, caregiver, or friend. All right, thanks for learning with me today. I will see you back here for lesson 38.